everyone from beautiful downtown Dallas, Georgia. I'm John Grant with the Rotary Club of Baldwin County. Want to welcome everyone to the 28th annual Dallas Invitational Christmas Parade. We've got beautiful weather today. As you can tell, everyone is excited. The weather's beautiful. We got Santa Claus coming on the way, and we're looking for a beautiful and a wonderful time at the Dallas Christmas Parade. We're going to throw it up to Stacy and Ashley at this time, and let's get a parade started, folks. Well, Merry Christmas, Paulding County. We're so glad to have you with us today, and I'm excited to meet my favorite co host. Thanks, Stacy. As you can hear, there's lots going on around us. My name's Ashley Henson with the Paulding County Sheriff's Office, and we're excited to be here for the 28th Annual Dallas Christmas Parade. Uh, lots going on. We just had the uh, Paulding County JROTC programs from north, Paulding, Hiram, south, as well as east. And uh, the east actually has the uh, Air Force ROTC program. And I believe you guys can probably hear in the background that the American Legion riders from the American Legion Post 111 have just passed through. And it looks like about to approach will be, of course, our uh, next entry. But I want to give a special shout out to those Legion Riders Post 111 for their recent involvement in our Hearts for Heroes Festival, Absolutely. which was a few weeks ago to honor all of our military veterans and public safety. Absolutely. Just a big thanks to uh, Re uh, Legion Post 111, and uh, they were sponsored today by Brett Reese Pro Sound Productions. It looks like. We have our Paulding County Fire Department in our parade zone right now. They were founded in 1980, and they provide, of course, fire protection, suppression, rescue, and emergency services to everyone in Paulding County. They currently employ 160 paid professional personnel, one being my husband, actually, for the last 14 years. The personnel believe in the pursuit of excellence and demonstrating the highest professional standards, providing world-class fire and EMS services to our community. And it looks like they've got Heavy Rescue One, which is one of their newest trucks. I know they're really proud of that. Uh, their mission is to provide response to suppression of fires, provide emergency medical uh, response for assistance in life-threatening injuries. Uh, they, they do inspections, investigations, all the things a standard fire uh, department would do. And really want to give a shout out to Deputy Chief Greg Ellsbury. He retired earlier this week and uh, he's just given a lifetime of service to Paulding County. Just a true uh, firefighter and just a great man. Yeah, congratulations. And up next is always a fan favorite. It is our Paulding County Shrine Club. The Shriners belong to a fraternity based on fun fellowship and the principles of brotherly love, relief, and truth, which tirelessly support over 22 Shriner Hospitals for children. The Shriner Hospitals for Children have a mission to provide the highest quality care to children with neuromusculoskeletal conditions, burn injuries, and other spe uh, special health care needs. Uh, they offer a compassionate, family-centered, and collaborative care environment and they're just such a philanthropic organization. They always do such good things for uh, children in the community. And I know they have a lot of entries here with us today, so you're going to see a nice wide variety on the street just below us here at the Tin Bucket. Make sure if you're in person that you're waving and showing support for those, those men that are supporting the community. There's Their Mr. mission is to carry out, without regard to any race, color, sex, or disability, or national origin, the ability to care for patients and families that are going through a crisis. Absolutely. It looks like the potentate, Mr. Bruce Ridley, is going by right now. Uh, so they've got all of their, uh, their command structure that's here. And uh, the Shriners always just provide such fun for the children with their cars. And it looks like they've got a train coming up. So lots of really uh, interesting things that they always uh, provide for the community. Yep, and they're definitely out there waving, looking like they're having a great time. And I hope everybody is having an amazing holiday season as we always love to kick this event off the very first Saturday in December. It's uh, So we got out here early to get prepared. We and sure we're in a little bit of a shady area, and it's kind of cool. It is. I believe you told me the temperature raised to about 50, but when we got here this morning, it was a little chilly 40 degrees. It was. However, it is a beautiful sunny day right here in the streets of beautiful downtown Dallas, and it's just so wonderful to see everybody out with smiles on their faces. As a matter of fact, there's not a not a cloud in the sky, and here comes the Shriner train, uh, the Mighty Motor Corps, and looks like they've got a little... Uh, that's one of the most interesting little vehicles I think I've ever seen. It's like a little bus. Uh, now, Ashley, unfortunately, I'm not going to let you run down there and ride with them. Okay, you have to stay up here year. with me today. <laughs> and they've got a, uh, looks like two mini bikes pulling uh, two Shriners. And this is the part that the kids always like. This is the, the souped up go-karts. They always do the burnouts. And uh, folks, you're not going to be able to hear us probably here in about uh, 10 or 15 <laughs> seconds. So this is one of uh, the fan favorites. 
I definitely kids. see the smoke that is associated with the burnout that Ashley mentioned. Absolutely. And but again, here they we come. thank these people. They have come out. They have such fun. Maybe we need to hire those guys at the sheriff's office. I don't know, Ashley. They might have drive, better driving skills than your guys. They could. They could. They always, uh, the kids always love them. They're always a fan favorite. Well, you know, and that's true. They do so much. Their mission is definitely to carry all that out, and their vision is to become the best at transforming children's lives by providing exceptional health care through their innovative research program. Right. Absolutely. It's just uh, such a great organization, such a philanthropic organization, and they just do so much to help the community uh, and really the country. The, the Shriners Hospitals are located all over the United States, and, uh, you know, when people have needs and... Uh, they can't afford them. The Shriner Hospital step in and help those children with uh, all those needs. And it appears they have almost, wow, 20 or 30 entries right here at this portion of it the It looks parade. like. Yeah, they've got... Uh, it looks like they're still coming strong. Well, one of the things we talked about earlier was the fact that this year... Wow, that's loud. This year's the first year that we've done this live. So it's going to be interesting for all our uh, viewers out there. We hope, uh, we hope lots of people are watching today. Um, just to be able to experience this, if maybe you're from Dallas and you live somewhere else, you're on vacation or you used to live in Dallas, this gives you an opportunity to see it when it's happening. It does. And earlier I was downstairs here at the 10 Bucket and I got to speaking to a woman whose um, children are actually in the parade today. And she was disappointed because her parents, the children's grandparents, couldn't join us. And so I told her to make sure that she was following the link and that they could join in live or they could always go back later and watch the broadcast. Yeah, so absolutely. I want to give a very special shout out to PCTV for being with us today and providing this avenue to have the production. Yeah, they do such a great job. And they're, they're uh, affiliated with the Paulding County Board of Commissioners. Uh, and Jeff Harkins, Felicia, and Austin, they do such a wonderful job uh, with all the productions, but especially this one. And this is just a host of uh, people uh, that just make this production happen. And it's just such a, such a wonderful thing for our community and a uh, way for everyone all over the country to be able to see our parade. It is. And again, I'm Stacy Hamby, president of your Paulding Chamber of Commerce, and I'm also a proud member of the Rotary Club. Got to give a very special shout out, of course, to the Rotary Group. They do so many wonderful things in this community, and I believe that they're coming up here pretty soon, if not next, following the Shriners. Yeah, I think they are. And the Shriners are still coming strong. They've got a, they got a vehicle that uh, looks like it's popping a wheelie, and it's they're making it snow. Uh, so they always have such interesting uh, entries in the uh, in the parade, and it's always fun to be able to see what they bring every year. And I do indeed see snow down there. I know it. Well, it's. This morning, I think it was cold enough to have some real snow. And I think we got a little bit up here, too, maybe. But like you said earlier, there's not a cloud in the sky. It's just such a beautiful day. Um, for people in the sunshine, I mean, there's people without coats on. Uh, so it's actually really nice. But for us in the shade, it's a little bit cooler, but uh, it's just a wonderful day. I know back a few years ago, I think it was the first time that Ashley and I had the opportunity to co-host together. We had a little bit of a torrential downpour. <laughs> we did. <laughs> That's when we had Caleb Lee Hutchinson, our American Idol, uh, as the Grand Marshal that year. And we are wishing him well in his recent move to Nashville, Tennessee. So congratulations on that, Caleb, if you're joining in for us today. Yeah, we hope you are. And for those of you at home, that's not a train. That's the Shriners. They've got train horns. They've got, uh, they're doing burnouts. They're doing it all. So always fun to, uh, to see those guys. I don't quite see the end in sight for the Shriners yet. I, actually, you have better I don't visi either. visibility there, yeah. Ashley. You know, with the uh, the parade and, of course, where we were located in Tim Bucket Mercantile in downtown Dallas, it's almost at the end of the parade route, so it gets to be a little bit of a bottleneck down at the old courthouse. Uh, while we're talking about beautiful downtown Dallas, I do want to talk about, take the opportunity to mention how important it is to support our, our merchants right Absolutely. here in the downtown area of Dallas, also in Hiram and throughout our whole county. 
that is a big important issue for your Paulding Chamber of Commerce to make sure everybody is shopping local. And yeah. It's that time of year where everybody's tempted to just go online and make all those purchases. But I really sincerely hope that you take this opportunity to consider supporting local, small, and retail businesses in your own community. Yeah, and I want to add on to that because when you shop locally, you are giving that 1% uh, to our SPLOS. That's the Special Purpose Local Local Option Sales Tax. And so working at the Sheriff's Office like I do, that's, uh, that's the way that we are able to finance the purchase of our vehicles and a lot of equipment. So with that 1% uh, that all of our uh, citizens and even visitors to the county spend, we're able to buy more cars for the Sheriff's Office, more equipment, and so it's just a savings to uh, the regular budget of the county. And so we're just excited about that and uh, love it when people shop locally. Yeah. And of course, don't forget about the local jobs it provides as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So, and then the district, there's just a lot of ways that you need to, to consider that those dollars get respent in your own community when you're shopping local. Yeah, and speaking of jobs, I've got to give this plug. Uh, Paulding County Sheriff Gary Gulledge, a uh, good friend and my, uh, my boss, uh, just came through earlier, and since where I work at the Sheriff's Office, one of the things we need is help. We are actually in a, in a hiring uh, frenzy right now. We're looking for motivated men and women to fill our ranks and work at the Sheriff's Office. If you're interested in a new career or if you always uh, have thought about law enforcement but never knew if you wanted to do it or not, now's the time. Uh, we offer a great uh, benefits package, and um, it's just a really... It's a really good way to give back to your community. Uh, if you'd like more information, you can visit our website at www.paulding.gov, or you can download our new free app uh, in the App Store on Google Play. It's called the Paulding Sheriff app. And if you'd like to email us, you can email sheriff.recruitment at paulding.gov, and you can get all the information you'd like to know about how to have a career at the Paulding County Sheriff's Office. Now, actually, exactly how long have you been with the Sheriff's Department? I have been with the Sheriff's Office just a little over 18 years. So. I grew up here in Paulding County. Uh, I graduated from East Paulding High School, went to college, uh, graduated with a couple different degrees from the University of West Georgia, and when uh, I got done with college, came back and worked in the Sheriff's Office. I've been there ever since. Well, we're so thankful for that because you make such a difference in the community well, you serve. I appreciate it. I know uh, you also spend a lot of time dealing with our Cops for Kids program. We do, and that's one of the one of the highlights of our year every year is the Paulding Cops for Kids program. Um, it's scheduled to occur next Saturday on the 12th. And basically what it is, it's a uh, 501c3 nonprofit. And, and what we do is we take underprivileged Paulding County children and we take them to the local Walmart and go shopping with them. And the purpose of Paulding Cops for Kids is to bridge the gap between uh, our community and the Sheriff's Office. Uh, over 22 years ago, we started the program and it's just flourished. I think the first year we took about 20 children and this year we plan to take about 250 children. Wow. So it's grown uh, by leaps and bounds over the over the course of the past 22 years. That's great. Well, thank you to you and to everybody that's a part of that Cops for Kids program. Yeah. I know a lot of people locally give to support that, and yeah. every dollar does count in helping to well, provide. Well, and, and I would like to add, um, our uh, former Sheriff Bruce Harris um, passed away earlier this year. Yeah. Um, was really near and dear to my heart. Such a fine man. Uh, he's one that gave me my opportunity to be in this line of work, and I really owe him everything uh, as far as from my career. And um, he's the one that, it was his vision to start Cops for Kids. So we're just really, really happy that um, he had that vision and, of course, devastated that he passed earlier this year. Such a fine person. Yeah, that, that was a big loss to our community. It really was. He was just a true Paulding Countyan um, and just, just a great man. Well, Ashley, I have to say, I have seen the cover of the R Town magazine for the month of December, and we actually give those away free at the Chamber office if you happen to miss your copy, and you might want to grab one and have an autograph <laughs> from Mr. Ashley himself. Tell us about how you and your family were chosen for the cover. So, I don't know. I guess they must have run out of people. I don't know. No, I, I give all the credit to my wife. She's the... She's the beautiful one in the uh, in the picture, but uh, we were selected by Jules and Teresa to uh, to be on the December cover and had such a great time with them doing the shoot and uh, that got to tell a little bit of our family story and uh, it was just really neat to be able to, to talk about that and um, you know had that experience and just gotten so much positive feedback and uh, just a great way to highlight our family and the love we have for Paulding County. 
Well, it's a beautiful cover. You have beautiful children, and they're very, very, very well behaved. It. Well, young most men of the time. <laughs> came by earlier to say hello to they us. They did. They'll be by in a minute. <laughs> uh, they'll they'll be with the city of Dallas floats. So uh, I'm I'm excited about that. And it still looks like we're getting the Shriners uh, entries through the process of the parade here. I think but so. I, I think we're getting close. Okay. Uh, it looks like maybe the. Well, I see Sheila Butler's coming up. And it looks like, I guess we're a little bit out of order maybe, but uh, it looks like I see uh, Sheila Butler, who is the clerk of our Paulding County Superior Court. Uh, Sheila wants to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Sheila's worked in the clerk's office for over 33 years. Uh, af after longtime clerk Treva Shelton retired, uh, Sheila was appointed to be her replacement, and earlier this year she won a re-election bid uh, in the uh, Republican primary, and Sheila is our clerk of the Paulding County Superior Court. Just such a, just a fine lady and uh, always having fun. Looks like they're dressed up as elves. So they always like to have a good time. All right. Uh-oh, here comes another group of guys I think uh, you were going to recognize there, yeah, Ashley. I think I know these guys. These are some of, uh, some of my good friends. This is the Paulding County Sheriff's Office float. Uh, we've got uh, members of our K-9 division as well as our SWAT team. And so it uh, looks like I see there's Corporal Brandon Kilgore and his dog K-9 Buco and uh, Sergeant Ricky Waters and K-9 Bickle. And it looks like yep, there's Deputy Snyder with K-9 Rex. And of course we got several of our SWAT guys out there. Uh, and I'm also a member of the SWAT team. I'm our sniper team leader. So I always uh, love having those guys out here. They're uh, always having a good time and uh, glad to be here. Well, and again, I can't thank you enough, Ashley, for what you do personally for our community and each and every uh, man and woman who serves in the area of law enforcement for Paulding County. We sure do appreciate your support. Well, they love me so much they're throwing, they're throwing candy at me, so they, we gotta we got to duck a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they purposely aim in this direction, and unfortunately, I switched sides with you this year for that very reason. Yeah. Coming up next is May, uh, Marjorie Taylor Green in the 1957 convertible. Marjorie was just elected to the United States Congress and will be going to Washington, is D.C. in January as the first woman to represent the 14th district. That's awesome. So congratulations, Marjorie. Well, I don't know if it's a convertible, but uh, oh, it's certainly a nice blue Chevrolet truck. I'm not sure what year it is, but in any event, it looks really nice. It is. And, of course, next is our Paulding Chamber of Commerce. I have to say that's going to be one of my favorite entries uh, here today. And we are promoting our Power of Christmas event. This is a first for the Chamber to, to take this involvement to offer a contactless Santa encounter as well as an over 9,000 LED light show. So we've spent several weeks transforming the back of our building and our property into a beautiful display that we hope everybody will participate. You do have to go online to purchase a $5 ticket. And we hope you see you soon over the next two weekends at your Paulding Chamber of Commerce. And I think it's almost time. I think we're going to throw it to John uh, here in just a second. He's down on the street with an interview. But I will say my wife uh, registered to come see the lights on the 11th. Oh, wonderful. And she said it was an easy process and very seamless. So we're excited to come see the lights. Great. Thank you. We hope everybody has a chance to come out. It looks like we've got Helping Hands of Paulding coming up. And I think we're going to throw it down to John on the street. He's got an interview. Hey, we're here with Helping Hands, and we want to reach out to these guys and wish y'all a Merry Christmas. And uh, thank y'all for being with us today. Thank you very much. And uh, anything y'all want to say to the folks of Paulding County, want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. Y'all take care. Thank you for all the good work that y'all do. All right. Thanks, John. So Helping Hands, for those of you that don't know, is our local nonprofit food pantry. Uh, clothing center, resource center for neighbors in need. Uh, even though we've got a pandemic going on, uh, they never stop serving food. They serve every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9.30 to 2.30. And up next is our public holding Republican Party, and they do have their chairman with them, I believe, Miss Nancy Hollinshed. They're always looking for new members to join, so if you're interested, you need to reach out and contact the Paulding Republican Party. And it looks like they are still coming strong. Uh, there's Nancy right there in the uh, the red Dodge. I'm glad you are identifying the vehicles because I can't <laughs> tell you that, that I can tell the difference. <laughs> there you go. Now this looks like our uh, the Paulding Teenage Republicans. Uh, they are actually, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the winners for best theme. Uh, they are a group of politically involved teens who are helping their community, making friends, and having fun. 
Uh, you can check them out on Instagram, Facebook, or their website to get involved. Yep, I do believe I saw a second place entry winner right there. Yeah, I think You're so. exactly right, Ashley. Uh oh, it looks like the Hardy Automotive Group. Hardy up. Family Automotive Group. They are always here to support our parade. They are a family owned and operated here in Paulding County since 1978. Selling, of course, brand new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Ford vehicles, as well as many quality owned pre vehicles. They offer service, parts, and even a body shop. They are grateful to do business in our community, and again, they are so involved and they give back in so many different ways. So we appreciate you, the Hardy family, and I love their, their slogan that has stuck with them over the years, and that is, of course, we love you and we need you. Absolutely. Such a great family. I grew up with uh, many of the grandkids, Justin, Ashley, Jennifer. Uh, so uh, it looks like we've got a band coming. But just anyway, a great family, uh, and if you need a car, that's the place to go if you're in Paulding County. And they have several coming by, so I think you can just lean over there I and pick out which one you want. Yeah, there, absolutely. Ashley. It looks like we've got the East Paulding High School marching band. The Raider Brigade's coming up, and we're very fortunate this year that we have uh, one of our favorite families who uh, sponsored all our bands, Sam and Danita Elrod of Elrod Garden Supply. Uh, so the, it's like the band's going to stop and play for a minute, but uh, currently they uh, support eight large ensembles, and they do lots of different things. They do. They actually have a wind ensemble, a symphonic band, a concert band, a jazz band, a Raider Brigade marsh bag that is joining us today, an indoor percussion ensemble, varsity winter guard, and a junior varsity winter guard. So that is all eight of the wonderful opportunities that they provide for our boys and girls in Paulding County. They sound great, too. I'm an East Paulding graduate, so this is a fan favorite for me. Uh, glad to see the... The kids playing, having fun. They've got their Santa hats on, doing good. Uh, and from what I understand, towards the end, once all the bands have come through, there'll be a winner selected. So I don't know who it'll be yet, but uh, we shall see in a little bit. And that was a reason to get everybody here today. So of all the five bands, one of them is actually going to be awarded with a scholarship. That's right. Listen to how good they sound. And those boys and girls look like they're having so much fun out there joining us today. Yeah, they really so. do. Everybody's got a smile on their face. Like I said, the weather's yeah. great. They sound good. Uh, so playing some Christmas songs. So it really can't be any better than this, I don't think. All right, it looks like we've got the Farmers Burgess Insurance Agency. Uh, Vicki Burgess is the owner of the Farmers Burgess Agency, and she's so blessed to be a part of the downtown Dallas community. And if I'm not mistaken, her office is right behind us, isn't that right? It is. Here. You might and, uh, can see it from our... You probably could. Oh, her sign's so, right behind your head, Yeah, actually. there you go. They provide quotes on home, auto, life, and offer uh, so many more opportunities. Give them a call or just stop by. Farmers on Main. Vicki's been in the, uh, the insurance industry for 28 years, and it looks like I think we're going to get an opportunity for John to talk to Miss Burgess. Yes. So... John, if you can hear me, I think we're going to throw it down to you on the street if you can uh, get us an interview with Vicki. Yes, we can do that. Hey, it is good to be back down here. We are with Farmers Insurance. If we can grab Vicki Burgess. Vicki is the local owner of the Farmers Insurance here. She's also the co-president of the Dallas Merchants Association. Vicki, you want to say anything to folks of Dallas this Christmas? I hope you have the best Christmas ever. Happy 2020 and a great new year, 2021, we're looking forward to. Yes, we are. Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank One you. more quick note before I throw it back up to Stacy and Ashley. Uh, my beautiful wife is also part of Farmers. I work farmers. farmers. <laughs> Call me for a quote. <laughs> so Merry Christmas, everybody. Back to you, Stacy and Ashley. Well, thank you, John, and I think you definitely would have been in trouble had you not mentioned your beautiful <laughs> wife. I uh, also want to make note that it looks like the Burgess Agency was our biggest Hart Award winner, so congratulations again, Vicki. And approaching the performance zone, as we're calling it today, is Crossroads Plumbing. Crossroads Plumbing is a locally owned and operated business specializing in commercial and residential plumbing. They offer upfront pricing, and I was surprised to see that they never charge a service fee. Wow, that's great. Well, it makes a difference when you call someone you need help to get that price up front. That way, once they come and do the work, you're not surprised by just an exorbitant amount of money. And so it's nice to be able to, to do that and have that, that price up front. 
And I would like to say, too, on behalf of your Chamber of Commerce, if you ever need a business referral for any service or good or, or business here in the Paulding County area, please call the Chamber. We are so very excited when we get a phone call and we are able to provide a referral for one of our business members. I did not we, know that. Yes. That's awesome. Anytime you need anything at all, give us a call. We'll check our database. We will send you any member currently in the Chamber and that provides that service and get that sent over to you. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. So we've got the U.S. United Pageant winners. This is Miss Sherry Davis. She is a lifetime queen, and as I call her, Miss America. <laughs> Sherry's at every single event in Paulding County. She's there more than any mayor, commissioner, anybody. Uh, and with her, it looks like she's got little Miss Veronica Moore Hayes, who's a lifetime ambassador, and her pageant platform is Breast Cancer Awareness. Always such a bright spot in everyone's day when Sherry comes by. It is. And coming up next is a new member for your Paulding Chamber of Commerce. Rytech of Northwest Georgia is restoration specialist. The owner, Jeff Lambert, is out there with his employees celebrating the birth of Christ this year with their entry. And they want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cool. So it looks like next we've got up, well, there's another Rytech vehicle, but coming up directly behind them is the First National Community Bank. Uh, they're headquartered in Chatsworth, Georgia, and they're excited to have a newly opened branch here uh, in our Cedar Crest community in North Paulding. Uh, they offer all types of business and personal loans, and just feel free to give them a call if you need any uh, any banking needs. They're located off of Cedar Crest Road up near uh, Seven Hills and Bentwater. Perfect. And it looks like they've got a pretty cool old Chevrolet truck there. I think coming up here in just a few minutes, we're going to actually have a performance by our next entry in the parade today. But I'd like to take this opportunity to remind everybody, any business out there or organization that wants to be part of the uh, annual Dallas Parade presented by your Paulding County Rotary Group to please reach out. We start taking entries usually about six weeks prior to the parade. You can see it advertised anywhere on the Rotary, Paulding County Rotary pages or call your Chamber of Commerce. We'll be happy to get you signed up and get you connected and hopefully you're out here to join us next year. Yeah. So as I understand it, they actually have a cutoff because there are so many people that want to get in the parade. If they didn't have a cutoff, we'd be here all day. So <laughs> I don't think they'd want to see us all day, right, actually. I, I, think, I think not. I think they'd probably get tired of us. Looks like we've got studio dance coming up. And We're hoping they that they're going to give us a quick dance performance. Hopefully so. It looks like uh, studio dance is located in Dallas, and they're celebrating their 19th season. Uh, this is also their 19th year participating in the parade. So, so it doesn't look like they've missed a year. I don't think so. Well, thank you for being with us today, 28 Studio Dance. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe they'll give us a little dance as they go by, but uh, lots of ladies out there dressed in purple Santa hats, so uh, I'm assuming that's probably their colors at Studio Dance Incorporated. They're giving lots of waves and smiles instead of a performance today. Oh, yeah. And here's another couple truckloads of Studio Dance ladies. All right. Looks like uh, here we go. I think we've got another, yeah, we've got three truckloads of wow. Studio Dance uh, participants. So, and it looks of, like they might take dancers of all ages. I would say so. Lots of little There's ones some, and yep. uh, teenage girls as well. So lots of beauties out there. I'm sure they have fun and uh, enjoy dancing. This is such a fun festive event for our community and, and one that um, just I've been part of personally for, for several years right. uh, with my long career in Paulding County. And, just always so great to see everybody not only in the parade, but just participating and coming out and supporting uh, their community. Well, here comes one of the uh, another one of our pillar businesses in Paulding County, Ragsdale Heating, Air, and Plumbing. Uh, Ragsdale Heating, Air, and Plumbing is family owned and operated for over 20 years. Uh, Mr. Art Ragsdale, the founder and owner, has just uh, been a staple in this community for as long as I've been here, which is my whole life. Um, their focus is servicing, designing, engineering, and installing complete comfort systems for people just like you and I. Uh, from the people in their office to the plumbers and HVAC technicians out in the field, uh, everyone's dedicated to 100% customer satisfaction, and Art, Jason, and Julie are always there to take care of all your plumbing and HVAC needs. Yep. And it looks like they have Mr. Plumber Man on their float, so hey, beautiful like float a, being provided today. A plumbing superhero. <laughs> they always have such a fun float uh, with some of their service trucks and uh, a decorated float. And, and Art is a longtime Paulding County Rotary member, so uh, oh, we appreciate Art Such a great and his family. involvement. Absolutely. Everything they do in our community. Looks like Coming Home up Star. next is Homestar Hiram. Looks like they've got a Santa Claus on the back of their yeah, truck. They do. Float. 
They are a local mortgage lender who offer a variety of mortgage loan options and programs, and their house team is led by Denise Thomas. And I'm excited to announce that just the other day at our Chamber Luncheon, we recognized Homestar Hiram as a Small Business of the Month for December. Oh, wow. Very cool. Well, as you can hear, we've got another band. This is the Pride of Paulding Marching Band. Uh, they're excited to represent our community this year in the parade. As we mentioned earlier, Mr. Sam and Danita Elrod of Elrod's Garden Center sponsored them as well. Uh, so glad to have the Pride of Paulding here. And something neat you mentioned earlier was that um, businesses can sponsor nonprofits in the parade. They sure can. So anybody that's interested in doing that for next year, again, just reach out to any member of the Rotary Club or the Chamber of Commerce. We're happy to get you connected. That's great. Well, it just gives these young people an opportunity to participate and be in the parade and not have to worry about paying an entry fee. And uh, I think the bands always add so much more to the parade. I can remember as a kid uh, growing up here, that was the high school. There was only one high school in Baldwin County. And uh, everybody on Friday night went to see the Patriots play. Um, and so I think it was uh, constructed in 1969. So PC's always been uh, a staple here in our county and uh, just gl glad to have the Pride of Paulding uh, marching here today. And looks like they've got a new trailer, so it's very interesting. Now, these they young men and ladies as well, uh, they are always doing cool stuff. Uh, this is the Paulding County Composite Mountain Bike Racing Team. Every year they amaze me, I think, I think they're about to wreck every time, and they don't. <laughs> but these kids can ride wheelies like you wouldn't believe. Um, they are uh, up in North Paulding, and they uh, they have a mountain bike racing team, and the Paulding County's only youth cycling race team, and I didn't know that. And I didn't know that mountain bike racing is actually the fastest growing sport in the country, and Paulding County was ranked in the top ten in the state to produce two of the top five riders of all of 2020. So wow. if anybody's interested in joining this fun group, make sure you give them a call today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these guys, here goes one right now. I don't know if the, our viewers can see it, but uh, he's literally riding a wheelie all the way down Main Street. <laughs> I would break my neck if I did that. I was going to ask you to please demonstrate for us <laughs> afterwards, Ashley. I'm but too old I'll for that. Off. <laughs> I am too old for that. But they always do such a nice job, and the kids seem to like them, and they go back and forth. Looks like we got somebody in a pink, uh, maybe a pink, oh, you know what that is? I don't want to know what that, that is. That is the Christmas story pink bunny suit that Ralphie okay, had to instead, wear. Instead, you have a choice. You either go to ride the wheelie <laughs> down the street or you can walk the street in that pink bunny suit. Actually, I which don't one? know. I'm going to probably go for the wheelie. At least give it a <laughs> shot anyway. All right. Wow. That's a souped-up Jeep pulling the uh, Paulding County Composite Mountain Bike Team trailer. That actually looks like that Jeep is coming from J.K. Land, another I, one of our local business owners. I think it is, too. And it looks like my... They definitely have a beautiful trailer set up. Yeah, that's nice. They must have a, a really big following. That's a nice trailer, nice setup. Uh, Do you remember the year you got a bicycle for Christmas, Ashley? You know, that's hard to, uh, hard to remember. But I do remember getting a bicycle for Christmas. I just can't recall the year. Uh, that was one of the things that we always loved doing uh, a lot when we were kids is uh, riding our bikes. And it uh, seems like these young men and women uh, enjoy doing the same thing. I actually remember my first bicycle, and it wasn't for Christmas. It was actually a birthday present uh, given to me by my grandparents. And unfortunately, only a few weeks later, I disobeyed their rules and left it laying in the driveway. And my grandfather actually oh, ran, ran it over. over. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Well, it looks like the city of Dallas is up next, and uh, this one's a little bit near and dear to my heart. Uh, so we've got Mayor James Kelly riding with his wife and children, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Mike Kaysen with his grandchildren, uh, Councilman Chris Carter and his wife and children, uh, Leah Alls, Councilwoman Leah Alls with her husband, Tim, and uh, children, and my dad, Jim Henson, he's on the city council, and I'm excited. Well, we're excited to be here. We're grateful for the weather. Y'all have done a great job as a Rotary putting this on, and we're just ecstatic that so many people have been here. And Merry Christmas to everybody, and hope everybody has a wonderful day and wonderful holiday season. Hey, man, Merry Christmas to you and your family right. too, James. Thanks, Take John. care. Appreciate Thank it. you. Hey, John, I don't know if Back you can you, hear Stacey me Back to you, Stacy and Ashley. Hey, thanks, John. So my kids are actually down there driving Mayor Kelly, uh, and so that was pretty exciting for them to be able to do that. Uh, they always have such a good time riding in the float with my, my dad and the mayor and uh, all those folks. But the city of Dallas has got their 1944 Dodge fire truck, which has kind of got a cool story. 
Yep, and it looks like it won the first place entry for the older vehicles. Oh, wow. Well, they always have such a fun time. There's Mayor and Glenn Stinson, the uh, city, of, city attorney, and uh, my dad, Jim Henson, out there on the mayor's golf cart. So the city just does such a nice job with the parade and all the things they're doing downtown these days uh, with Food Truck Friday, and they did a lighting of the Christmas tree. Just a lot of uh, events that really uh, focus on getting people downtown and highlighting this Main Street corridor. Yes. They do a great back job. To your point of shop locally. All right. And it looks like the city of Dallas is just passing by us. And we've got next the East Paulding fifth grade football and cheer team. Um, they have some pretty exciting news, it looks like. They have gone consecutive seasons to the Super Bowl as well as back-to-back -back undefeated seasons. Uh, this team is really something to watch and shows amazing heart every time they step on the field. Uh, they're looking forward to transitioning to middle school next year, and we hope that they continue on with that tradition, and their saying is one heart, Raider Nation. I can see why. Look at all those smiling faces out there joining us here today. Yeah, it's such a, you know, several years ago, um, middle school sports went away, and so these feeder programs came in, and so you've got a program at East, North's got a program, South's got a program, Paulding's got a program, uh, Hiram as well has a program. So all these feeder teams are, are supplying children uh, to learn the system so when they get to high school, they're better prepared for high school sports. And they even do that for the cheer programs as well, no, is absolutely. that correct, so actually? The, the young ladies are able to cheer and learn the, the, all the routines and things like that. So when they get to high school, they've got a better opportunity to uh, make it on TV. Does that scare you? <laughs> no, I think candy's being thrown this oh, direction. It may be. <laughs> <laughs> Them children out there are trying to hit us up here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're, uh, we're uh, targets up here on the, the uh, upper deck of the Tin Roof Mercantile. But it's fun. We're having a great time. It's actually warming up a little bit. It is warming up a little bit. I had a opportunity to take my gloves off. <laughs> I know it. And it looks like we've still got more. Uh, that might be the next team there, I Ashley. think this Let's is see. the next team, yep. It is. Those are the Dallas Raptors, and it's an eight under baseball team. They are coached by Alan Cunningham out of Sarah Bad Park. Players on that float joining us today include Kading Cunningham, Colton Cunningham, Maddox Leverage, Bentley Birdsong, Sakori Jenkins, Bronson Loomis, Easton Freeman, Brantley Millwood, Jackson Cagle, Trendon Tethero, Levi Barker, and Croy Kemp. And they're wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas. Good deal. Congrats to the Raptors. Looks like we've got the East Paulding Junior Raider cheerleaders. Uh, they are, looks like they're going to have at least three trucks. This is the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade Junior Raider cheerleading teams. Uh, their team is full of pep cheer. It's always ready to make some noise for Raider football. Well, if they're anything like my children, they definitely do like to make noise. Absolutely. You my can hear the girls well. out there in the street Absolutely. Uh, performing some of their cheers as they pass through. And, of course, here comes our Georgia Classic Rides. They promote the hobby of classic cards, cars, and community fellowship with the goal of helping underprivileged children throughout Paulding County. They do a lot of uh, car shows throughout the county throughout the year, so make sure you're checking their Facebook and their social media sites to find out where and when those car shows are held. It looks like, I was just alerted, they won the uh, Best Antique Vehicle Award for the parade today. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they've got a couple of entries. There's a uh, Dodge Charger and another older vehicle. Looks pretty cool. Uh, so glad to have them here. They always uh, donate to Cop for Kids, mm -hmm. which is uh, we appreciate every year. So glad to have that, uh, that organization here in our county. All right, it looks like Bethany Christian Church is up, and I was just alerted they won the best religious uh, float, and it really does look pretty cool. That's exciting. We'll that talk about awesome. that more in just a minute, but uh, Bethany Christian Church is where uh, you can go to have a relationship, not religion. They're focused on sharing the love of Christ with others by living, loving, and serving as Christ did. Uh, Wayne Strickland, who's the pastor of Bethany Christian Church, is also one of our deputies and uh, works at our training center as a staff instructor. So he's just a, a great person and uh, such a, a good organization and a good church. And it looks like they've got, uh, oh, wow. So they're supporting the military, educators, public safety, and they've got the, the globe on their, on their float. Yes, it looks like they stayed true to the theme uh, this year for the Rotary Club that uh, they provide every year for the parade, and it was open opportunities. Open opportunities. What a great... Uh, what a great theme for the parade. There's Wayne right there. Yep, and it looks like that they were that second place religious entry. Okay, there so we you go. are second correct, place. Ashley. 
And coming up next is our red line wrecker in all things automotive. It's kind of a joint entry here. I see Corey Leon, owner of red line wrecker and recovery, along with Chris Peters, owner of all things automotive. And their families are all together today, riding along, enjoying the beautiful day. I love seeing so many entries that will feature the business owners and their families, their children. Everybody comes out and just has such a great, a great time yeah, riding through just, these beautiful streets It's of a Dallas. great opportunity to get the people that work there out in the community just so they can participate and, uh, and be there. And it looks like they've got a dirt track car on there. And it looks like we've got, all right, looks like we've got our Boy some Scouts Cub Scouts of and Boy Scouts, that's right. Here we go, consisting of over 20 units with Scouts ranging in age from five to 18 are approaching us now. All Scouts meet regularly and they work on skills ranging from camping and cooking to community service and even patriotism. Uh, my son Blaze is a very new recent Cub Scout. And uh -oh. I'm very proud of that decision he's made. Yeah, that's exciting. And he actually is at an event doing some community service today. So, oh. Yeah, it's such a wonderful group, and they always provide a lot of kids to come and participate. <laughs> Looks like there's group uh, Troop 687 out of Dallas. Uh, and so uh, they're always here to spread some cheer and uh, give out a little bit of candy on the way. And I didn't realize they had over 20 units here in I, Calden. Yeah, that, I didn't that's either. A that's, that's a lot of uh, opportunities for for little boys and uh, to participate in uh, Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. Right. And they're still coming. And here okay. comes Hiram's Mayor's Choice Award. I think so. Let's see, this is the group here with our Special Needs Ministry of West Ridge Church. Special Needs Ministry of West Ridge Church is uh, coming up next and they, they uh, assist folks from the age of pre-K to 90 years old. They have a place for everyone, uh, and you're feel free to check them out. Uh, their special needs ministry has lots of things to offer. And this was the Hiram Mayor's uh, Choice Award. That is correct, and yeah. I can see why. It looks like they have built a gingerbread house they with a wow. very large, towering gingerbread man. They sure did. Yeah, that's. Uh, they put some real. They put some time and effort into that. They sure did. It looks great. And West Ridge is such a great uh, asset for Paulding County. Not only is it a good church, but they just they help in so many different ways. Uh, they have Hope for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, they have Surge Camp. They do all types of different things, uh, have multiple ministries, as do many other churches in the county. Uh, but uh, West Ridge does a really good job uh, here in Paulding County. I'm just very thankful to have them in our county. And it does look like we're preparing to have our next interview with the city of Hiram. And I quickly want to give you a little bit of information and background about the municipal government that was founded in 1891. It is home to nearly 4,000 wonderful residents and over 700 businesses. I know Mayor Frank Moran is here with us today and they provided a virtual tree lighting, their 15th annual last night. So thank you so much for the city of Hiram keeping that tradition. And I think that they've got Councilwoman Teresa Phil y'all joining us today, as well as Councilwoman Kathy Bookout, Councilman Jeff Cole, Councilman Derek Battle, and Kathy Carter, Mayor Pro Tem. So we're turning it over to John for an interview at this time. All right. Well, as we're waiting on John to find Frank Moran, uh, we'll kind of keep talking about the city. It looks like they're escorted by their Public Works crew in their uh, city-owned F-350 uh, and trailer, along with their Ford F-150 truck uh, from one of their downtown businesses, Auto House. They want The city of Hiram wants to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It looks like I think that's the mayor right there, so we're going to throw it down to John on the street. See if you can uh, grab the mayor for us. Thank you, Stacy. Hey, we are here today. We're just going to take a couple of minutes. Mr. Jeff Cole, city councilman, Frank Moran, the mayor of uh, Hiram. Say hello to the camera over there. It's a pleasure to be with you guys today. It really is. Thank you very much. Frank, we want to give you an opportunity. Anything you want to say to the good folks here this, this morning or this afternoon? Uh, just a Merry Christmas. I'm glad to see people out enjoying themselves. Hope everybody has a good time and stay safe. Hey, it's a beautiful day, Ains. It's a beautiful Merry beautiful Christmas day. to you guys and your families, and thank you for what you do. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Stacy, Ashley, back up to y'all. All right. Thank you so much, John. And it looks like we have a third-place winner for best theme approaching. 
we would like to recognize Rusted Wreck Outfitters. It's a small outfitter located right here again down the street in the heart of Dallas. They are devoted to bringing you very chic and trendy styles at very affordable prices. They were founded in 2016 by Ben and Raina Langston. Their ultimate goal was to create a retail store in their hometown and have people come and gather and shop, laugh, and just enjoy the small town life. Yeah, absolutely. They've got a really uh, really nice float with a lot of balloons, and it uh, looks like that might, I'm not exactly sure, it looks like a princess, or I, I'm not exactly sure, but they look really, really fancy. <laughs> And I feel certain my wife has probably uh, frequented that store. Uh, they it, definitely look like they're having fun. Oh, my goodness. I think that is Dolly Parton. Is that Dolly? I think it's supposed to be. It may be. I do see Dolly on the fireplace there. <laughs> I think that's uh, who it is. Well, there you go. Who would have ever known? Dolly Parton here in Dallas, Georgia. Dolly Parton is in Dallas, Dallas Georgia. Hey, we've had Caleb Hutchinson. I think Dolly should be next on Might our radar. As well. And actually, Dolly was here a few years ago, just behind us in the Civic Center. At the Dallas Theater. Yes, okay. at the Dallas Theater, filming Joyful Noise. There so a go. lot of people don't realize that. But <laughs> how many films are filmed right here locally in Paul? Yeah, they and of really course, are. right here in Dallas, Georgia. Uh, they're filming Star Girl. Uh, they come every uh, every few weeks and uh, film portions of Star Girl. It looks <laughs> wow, that was loud. It looks like that's Magnolia Enterprises, LLC. Um, your safety and peace of mind are more important than ever, so whether you're selling or listing your home, we can guide you through every step of the way. And that's Magnolia Enterprises. And we're on number High Shoals Baptist Church. It's located right across the street from the High Shoals Waterfall. Now, how many of you realize we have waterfalls right here in Paulding County? Have you ever been to High Shoals Falls? I have, it's very I, pretty. indeed. Very, very pretty. It definitely stays on our, on our radar as a, as a site for um, tourism. So when we have somebody call, they're often surprised when I say we do have a set of waterfalls right here in Paulding. I would venture a guess it's probably one of the most photographed places in Paulding County, if I, I would, had to guess. I would have to agree with that. Oh, wow. This would be nice, a vacation. This mm -hmm. looks like Adventure Dreams Travel. Mm -hmm. uh, they're here to help with uh, planning our family's next great adventure at no cost to us. That's, that's, that's a great opportunity. <laughs> uh, they specialize in all-inclusive resorts like Sandals, Beaches, and even Disney World. Uh, they can plan cruises, family reunions, honeymoons, and group travel as well. So where's your next adventure? I don't know. I want to travel somewhere, <laughs> though. I deserve it after I this year. I think today we need to find somewhere warm. <laughs> and coming up is our Paulding Board of Realtors, and they are the leading realtor organization in Paulding County that unites the Paulding real estate community through teamwork, ethical practices, and service with professionalism. All right. Here is our Paulding County Board of Commissioners. Uh, it looks like, uh, I think we're going to throw it down to John in a minute, but not quite yet. But it uh, looks like on the float we've got our commission chairman, uh, Mr. Dave Carmichael, County Administrator Frank Baker, uh, Post 1 Commissioner Ron Davis. We've got Post 2 Commissioner Sandy Caker and Post 3 Commissioner Chuck Hart and Post 4 Commissioner Mr. Brian Stover. So, John, have you rounded up anybody? Which one of them are going to fight to speak with you today? I think we've got John with, uh, looks like Mr. Frank Baker. Take it away, John. Thank, thank you there, Ashley. Hey, come on in here, Frank. We're here with Frank Baker, County Manager. Frank, just want to wish you a Merry Christmas this Merry year, Christmas you and your you, family. John. We're here with the whole Paulding County Board of Commissioners. We, we just got the whole shooting match here today, and we got our commission chairman driving the vehicle today, Absolutely. I understand. So, so you're the mouthpiece today. Well, uh, we got a, a bunch of folks here, and uh, sure you can all you can always find politicians who want to talk, can't you? <laughs> who who wants to wish everybody a Merry Christmas? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Hey, it's it's a pleasure to be with each and every one of you guys. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for your dedication, and uh, we hope y'all have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, you too. Thank the Rotary Club always. Yeah. Frank, Merry Christmas Merry to Christmas. you and your family. Thank Merry you for everything. Back up to you, Stacy. Thank you, John, and I, and I personally want to thank you. You know, you're a past president of our Paulding Rotary Club, and you've done many great things to make sure that our organization stays strong, and I appreciate you, John. Absolutely. Uh, I want to add that uh, County Clerk and uh, Executive Assistant Ms. Uh, Rebecca Meredith was unable to attend this year, but uh, she's part of our Board of Commissioner staff as well. Uh, you can see, uh, looks like we've got all the commissioners and their families and uh, lots of smiling faces. Always glad to see them. Our Board of Commissioners always do such good things for us at the Sheriff's Office as well. 
And up next is Family Savings Credit Union. They are people helping people, and their membership does allow for all others to prosper. Elaine Willingham is the branch manager, and hopefully she's on the back of that float today. And I think I see the Grinch joining in on their, uh -oh. their entry. That looks like the Grinch. Yeah. I think so. And is that money-saving dog over there I see? It may be. I'm not exactly sure. Elaine's husband, Mike, works with me at the sheriff's office. He's been there for a long time. They're long-time Paulding County residents and just great, great people. Just love to, love to be around them. And I think this is going to be Creekside Church. Uh, they'd love to invite you to come and join them for worship on any Sunday at the Burnt Hickory Park Community Center, which is located in uh, Georgia 61 North up in the North Paulding community. They meet at uh, 10 a.m. And if you'd like more information about their services, you can go to www.creekside.church and you can find out more information about the church. All right. And joining us now, it looks like the New Hopes. I think New Hope's not here. I think we're going to miss them. It looks like Dallas First. Okay, we've got the Dallas First Assembly of God, which is linked uh, with youth group uh, with the Dallas First Assembly of God. And their mission is to know Christ and make Him known. They are fun, friendly, and family-oriented, and they believe that... Uh, Everyone has the opportunity. They're located at 64 Holder Road, and love for you, for you to come and uh, celebrate with them. They always do a, uh, a nice luncheon for the sheriff's office, for the firefighters. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, and they always cook ribs, and it's always, always, always so <laughs> delicious. So we appreciate them. Anybody that brings you food wins favor with you, Absolutely. right, Ashley? Absolutely. Okay, and now we have Fat Trout Equipment Company. They are a local family-run Yamaha golf cart dealership offering sales, service, and repairs on most types of all golf carts. And I believe they're a personal friend of yours. Is that right, they Ashley? They are, yeah. Rod Trout is a good friend of mine, uh, and we're longtime friends and been uh, been knowing each other for a long, long time. It looks like we've got a little bit of uh, change in our order, but it looks like this is going to be our Heritage Antique Tractor Society. So here they are again, the Antique Tractor Club, featuring old antique tractors from all years gone by. The Tractor Club would like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone and thank everyone for coming out and supporting the parade today. Yeah, looks like we got a couple of farm malls, an old Ford. Uh, it's always nice to see the tractors. They've always been a part of the parade and so, uh-oh. Uh got an old firefighter siren on that tractor. <laughs> oh, I know who that is. That's Danny Bone. Okay, because I didn't know that tractors had fire trucks on They don't. <laughs> He's always funny. We, uh, he's another Paulding County resident and uh, always having a good time. And there we go. Looks like the Hiram High School Band of Gold's next, and they're happy to be at the 2020 Dallas Christmas Parade. Uh, once again, they uh, were sponsored by Sam and Danita Elrod. Uh, but in addition to varsity football games, they also perform at local and regional competitions and have won numerous uh, class and overall championships. And, you know, they also performed at the Children's Health Care of Atlanta Christmas Parade, as well as events at Walt Disney World and even Universal Studios in Florida. I didn't know that. We'll take a minute and listen to the Band of Gold. Jingle bells there for you from the Hiram High School Band of Gold. I was hoping you would sing to accompany the band today, <laughs> Ashley. Well, that's one thing I didn't get. I don't have musical talent. I don't think I could carry a tune in a bucket. Maybe John would like to perform down there with him. <laughs> to know who's going to win that scholarship that's going to be presented it. today to one of the bands. Again, they've all come through, sounded wonderful with, with just a great amount of cheer, and I'm curious to see who the winner's going to be, and I believe John will be announcing that at the end of the parade today. I think today. so, I think so. It's just such a blessing to have the bands back in the parade. It really just doesn't seem like the parade without our, our local high school bands. Well, let's see. I'm not sure who's next. Is that your favorite entry coming up I, next, Ashley? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. It's hard to say who's next. Nope, you know what? You know, when you have so many entries, I think it sometimes gets confusing it is. at the start of the parade. So Can now we've got Fat Trout quarter? coming up. There we go. So we've kind of already talked about them, but we'll talk a little bit more about them since they're coming up. Uh, but this is uh, Fat Trout, owned by Rod Trout. Uh, one of my good, close, personal friends. Uh, we went through school together and graduated from East Paulding High School. 
many years ago, uh, but if you need a golf cart, that's the place to go in Paulding County. They do such good work. They'll pick it up, uh, they'll drop it off. They just they make the process so uh, seamless and easy. And many people might not know, there's actually an ordinance in Paulding County which allows you to operate a golf cart on a county road with a speed limit less than 25 miles an hour. I did not know that, actually. You have to go through the county and get a permit, but you can operate it uh, either on that road or on uh, specific sidewalks. Like up in the Seven Hills area, they have a wider sidewalk. Oh, well, and it looks like that they had the right idea. They're uh, a looks like Hawaiian themed or Aloha yep. style, and they're waving at us from down below. Uh, what a beautiful entry there from Fat Trout. Yeah, I think that's Jamie, Rod's wife. So she's out there playing the ukulele, it looks like. <laughs> All right. They should have been following along with that travel company that yeah, came through earlier. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, looks like we've got... We have friends of Micah Gravely, and I'm not sure if, if all of our uh, House representatives are there on that float together. I can't see from the angle I'm at. It's hard but, to see. But uh, Michael does represent the District 67, Micah Gravely, and my visibility is not as clear as yours is there, Yeah, Ashley. it looks like we've got... Micah, Martin, and Joseph. Micah Gravely, uh, Martin Montahan, and Joseph Gullett, who are all our state representatives. And, and it, looks it looks like, like John's John, rounded them up. Yep, John's got, uh, looks like Martin and Joseph. So, John, we're, we're sending it to you, buddy. Okay, y'all call just for a moment. Hey, we're... Hey, we're here with Joseph Gallette, Martin Montahan, state representatives here in the state of Georgia, representing Paulding County. Guys, just want to give you an opportunity, share share your thoughts. What is this holiday? What does this parade mean to you guys? I'll start real fast. I think this uh, this parade is awesome. It's an awesome uh, way for the community to gather and have a good time and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm so happy to be here, and I, you know, this is this is the highlight of my year. It really is. That, that's right. I mean, and not to repeat what he just said, but it's about celebration of Jesus Christ and His birth. And so uh, it's it's good to come out here and see this many people. Thank you guys for what you do. Really appreciate you. Wish you and your families a Merry Christmas and everybody else Merry Christmas. Thank you. Stacey, Ashley, back up to you guys. Thanks, John. Yeah, and I want to echo what Martin and Joseph said. Just uh, It's really not Christmas until you have the Dallas Christmas Parade. You are exactly uh, right. I haven't lived here my whole life. Um, it's just so much fun to, to see everybody having a good time and getting the candy and it's really getting warm now, so it's actually getting really nice. I was going to say, this morning definitely felt a lot more like Christmas than it does out here right now. It it's really a did. Day. It looks like we've got the North Potting Youth Football and Cheerleading Group. Um, they are coming up next. Their association is made up of participants ranging in age from pre K through fifth grade. Uh, this season they had over 130 football players oh. as well as 130 cheerleaders. Uh, they're a feeder system, which means all the football players and cheerleaders go to North Paulding High School, which is kind of what we talked about before. And it gives North an opportunity to have those kids and let them learn their system. And so when they do get to high school, they'll be better prepared to, uh, to compete. That is a wonderful program to have indeed. So uh, congratulations to all the boys and girls that are able to take part in that and participate. And yeah, if anybody's absolutely. interested in that program, I would reach out to the individual uh, associations and see how you can get your child involved. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the North program, they do uh, multiple sports, not just football, but basketball, wrestling, uh, as well as other sports. Uh, so I see a few friends down there. Uh, Everybody's waving at us up here on, on the balcony I over know here it. at 10 Bucket. Okay. And coming up, Studio for the Arts. Catch All Mechanical looks like they are actually next in yep, line. That's, Catch All that's Mechanical. Right. There they are. So it looks like Catch All Mechanical is owned by Chris and Kim Jarrett uh, and Michael and Tanya uh, Carty. They've won, or, sorry, they've won, <laughs> listen to me. They have over 25 years of HVAC plumbing and electrical experience. Catch All Mechanical, they catch it all. Catchy little name there. That is a no catchy little name. <laughs> looks like they've got a, a float full of folks and uh, they take care of all your building maintenance needs. It looks like the Grinch is really popular this season. I, I think seen so about too. my fourth Grinch on one of these yeah, parade think, float entries. I think 2020 and the Grinch just kind of go hand <laughs> in hand almost. I would have to agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, even the Grinch had that soft heart at the he end. Did. So I, I think we're going to finish out 2020 strong. And I think so too. Stronger than we were when we started the year. Absolutely. We definitely look forward to 2021. 
Looks like we've got uh, Victory Baptist Church up next, and they want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. They, looks like they've got a, a nativity scene with uh, some shepherds and baby Jesus and uh, wise men and all of that. So it's a very nice, uh, nice float. Now, one thing we haven't talked about, and I want to make sure it's going to happen or not, is the New Year's Eve Chamber event. Yes, it is. Downtown Dallas, we will be having our second annual Silver Comet Ball Drop with the City of Dallas. So, uh, of course, social distancing will be encouraged. You must bring your own chair, but we will offer a concert. We're also looking at an avenue to provide that via yeah. live stream for those who are unable to get out that evening. And I was there last year. It was, a, it was, a, it was cold, but it was a fun event. Yes. And uh, it was neat to have it right here. All right. It looks like... <laughs> We've got another. Uh, we've got another Ralphie Pink Bunny coming up. Oh, and here we go! Another first place entry for best theme, and that is going to go to Shelly Seegers with Matilda Jane Clothing. Beautiful clothing for women and children. She is your bows and toes girl, and let me tell you, she takes that seriously. <laughs> you can schedule Shelly for a personal styling appointment to host a show or book a pop-up event. Because after all, Ashley, she is your go-to girl for ruffles and twirl. Well, there and she's she goes. out there waving at me. She's a wonderful chamber member uh, and an ambassador. I see that Shelly's very proud of her first place win as she's yelling it up here at us. As but she thank you, Shelly, for everything you do in our community and for our Chamber of Commerce uh, and being an ambassador, which is a volunteer for the Chamber that we rely heavily on. Well, I'll have to make sure my wife doesn't see too much of that because <laughs> she does have some of that Matilda Jane clothing and yes. uh, it's, it's very cute. She looks good in it. All right. It looks like we've got the North Paulding High School Band. We sure do. And again, they are sponsored by Sam and Danita Elrod. So thank you so much to Elrod Garden Supply for sponsoring the bands. And we're going to pause a moment and enjoy them in our performance zone. Let them play and provide a little bit of Christmas cheer for everyone joining in watching us today. Just by looking at the at the numbers here, they've got to have the biggest band in the county. And that's that's a lot of members there. And they sound great too, just like all the other bands. So Ashley, you said you went to East Paulding, is that correct? That's East right. Paulding. And what school district are your children in? So my, my children will go to Paulding County. Uh, we live very close to Paulding County High School. Uh, and uh, just really love that community and love Paulding County as well. Uh, Mr. Craig Wilcox, who's the principal over there, has been a pretty much a lifelong friend and uh, just such a great person. I'm proud that my kids are going to go there. They sound good. They do sound good. And you're right, just having the bands here with us today, it just really puts that Christmas music and spirit in here. It really the air. does. I don't know who's going to make the decision on the winner, but I'm glad it's not us <laughs> because it's going to be a tough decision. They're. I don't know. Uh, we have all done the easy such a part, job. just yeah. sitting here. We just get to talk about it. Do it live, right? But they've really done a good job. All right. And as uh, the North Band passes on, we'll get ready for our next uh, entry in the parade. I would say probably the north uh, northeast corner of the community is probably the fastest growing part of our county. Yes, you're you're right about that, Ashley. And as they pass on, it looks like uh, we've got Paulding Gymnastics coming up next. I'm gonna lean back and see if I can make sure that's accurate. I think uh, that's exactly who we've got coming up. So, have you got any big Christmas plans? Uh, kids wanting anything specific for Christmas this year? Well, I think they're wanting a little bit of everything. <laughs> I um, think so, too. My Mine son, Blaze, <laughs> my son Blaze, he, he's eight years old. He has started his Christmas list. He hasn't finished it yet. Every time I take a look at it, it's got a little bit longer. Right. So. And I think that's what always happens. <laughs> he's waiting to send that list home with one of his elves uh, to, to bet. take it to Santa. So it looks like now we're at Paul and Gymnastics. Here they are. Wow, look at all those ladies. They are fired up. Pauline Gymnastics' mission is to have a positive effect on every child who walks through their facility, not only physically, but also with confidence and character. 
Uh, they offer classes for all ages, competitive gymnastics, tumbling for cheerleading, and dancers, birthday parties, and even a parents' night out. Ooh, now that would be nice. That's a good idea. <laughs> I, I don't know if they want my two boys. Well, I know. As a mother of four, I can tell you that a night out is a wonderful thing without children. <laughs> yes, it is. Every once in a while. Especially around Christmas. It's the only way I get any shopping done. Absolutely. All right. I think these are, we've got more uh, wow, of the gymnasts from Pauly Gymnastics. gymnastics. They've got a So really any special requests from your young gentleman in the family there, Ashley? Well, like yours, they want a little bit of everything. Uh, but my youngest wants a four-wheeler. And mm -hmm. uh, the oldest is, uh, all right, looks like Tobo. Yes. The, the oldest one is wanting a shotgun. He's wanting to get on the 4-H shotgun team. Wow. So we're excited about that. Well, there's nobody I would trust more than <laughs> Well, I should be able to teach him pretty that. good. <laughs> All right, looks like Towboat US uh, from Lake Altoona is here, and they have someone on a wave runner. Wow, that's pretty cool. Got their rapid response unit. Towboat US and Georgia Boat Safety uh, and Training offer on water assistance to boaters on Lake Altoona and nationwide. Uh, their services include on water towing, salvage, diving, hazmat response, and disaster response. Georgia Boat Safety and Training is the training side of Towboat US, uh, where they train boaters from novice to advanced. Uh, in specialized public safety on water training. And I think we're following a theme here. We saw some tropical Hawaiian yeah. decor go by, and now we're seeing some beautiful boats. <laughs> They've I even think got their life ready. jackets on. That's fun. <laughs> safety first. Safety Absolutely. first. Absolutely. All right. Okay, and we have approaching a number one best theme award recipient with Precision Heating and Air. They are a family-owned and operating heating and air company. Founded in 1985, the Precision Team has more than 100 of combined years of experience in the industry. Precision has been servicing happy customers throughout Paulding County and Metro Atlanta for over 30 years. So Merry Christmas from Precision Heating and Air with Chris Rowe as their owner. Yeah, Chris and his staff are such great, great folks in the community. We've got so many great businesses, uh, so many different opportunities for uh, folks to choose from with HVAC, plumbing, and electrical. And it looks like we have a number three best religious entry coming up next, Ashley. We sure do. It looks like that's Nebo Baptist Church. Uh, they are a King James pre-millennial soul-winning Baptist church located in Dallas, Georgia. They're family-oriented would love to have you visit with them. And they look like they have a wonderful little mock-up of a choo-choo train there. I think is that so. right? Called that's, the Nebo Baptist Express. That's right. Jesus is the reason for the season. Uh, absolutely. And what a great uh, what out a great our here. Oh, here we go. Like we got South band. Paulding. Absolutely. South Paulding's being uh, represented here today with some beautiful smiling faces and waves. Again, they are sponsored by Elrod and want to uh, remind you that this is just such a wonderful day to be out here, a wonderful opportunity to enjoy with your family. We're going to take a, mo a moment to listen, listen to, to the, the band, band play. And that is, do you know Frozen? that song? Is that, do you okay. want to go Snowman? Okay, but having boys, I didn't know you would know that, Oh, uh, We had to watch Frozen. Okay. Everybody's seen Frozen. The girls have such nice costumes that uh, they look really nice in their, their flag crew. Maybe that's not the right word. Maybe it's not a costume. It's uh, an outfit. But uh, the Band of Gold sounds, that's not the Band of Gold. That's the South Pauling Marching Band. They sound great. They've got a big band as well. They're, uh, they do. I would say they're comparable to uh, North Paulding, and they also sound good. I, I think this is our final band, so we should know fairly soon who's uh, the winner for today. Again, that is not going to be an easy decision to be no, made because all the ones that have come through here today, all five of them have had wonderful presentation, yeah, wonderful attitude, spirit, and, of course, a great performance. Now we get to hear them a little bit more up close and personal. Uh, they sound sound great as we would uh, expect. And I'm a little disappointed to hear that you don't have any musical talents. Or... I don't. I really don't. It's uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, I can turn the radio on. I'm pretty good at that. But... I do some amazing carpool karaoke, but that's yeah. about the extent. Now, of when I get in the shower, I feel like I'm an American <laughs> Idol. But you know, it's funny. I always tell people that I was on American Idol, and I really was but not as a singer. When Caleb Lee Hutchinson came, when he had his hometown 
uh, day, we all provided security. So I actually was filmed, and I was on American Idol as his security, but not as a singer. Now, Ashley, I don't think that counts. <laughs> well, it doesn't, but it's always funny. It's a good conversation starter. So we have fun with that. And, and looks like we've got number 83 showing up there, Ashley. Yeah, tell this us is about uh, it. this one's really special to us because that's where we are today. This is the 10 Bucket Mercantile. Paul and Helene Jones purchased the corner property at 222 Main Street uh, as an investment property, but were quickly charmed by the unique building and decided to transform it. They wanted to create a place uh, reminiscent of a classic five a dime store with a modern and quirky twist. Uh, after one year designing and restoring, the 10 Bucket Mercantile opened its doors in 2018, uh, in June of 2018. And just having been here uh, for the past several years, it's such an amazing uh, store and a great way to shop locally here in Paulding County. Absolutely. And I do believe John's going to speak with the store owner at this time. All John? Right. Hey, we are here with Helen Jones. She is the owner of 10 Bucket Mercantile. And uh, she, don't know if we caught all that, but this is Helen Jones with Ten Bucket Mercantile, and they have won the Dallas Mayor's Choice Award for their float. Now, Helen, you want to share a little bit about the float? Well, we do. We're um, the Ten Bucket Mercantile, and it's home of Mr. Bones, so we have a skeleton as Santa Claus here. So we decorated the uh, truck, too, that we have inside of our store, and we, that's what we wanted to present to Dallas. So it, it's Dallas, uh, the Tin Bucket Mercantile, and it's home of Mr. Bones. Well, Mr. Bones and <laughs> Helen Jones and everybody in Dallas, we just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Dallas. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. Back up to you, Stacy and Ashley. All right, thanks, John. Well, from Mrs. Jones to Mr. Bones and back to us, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, and there he is. It almost looks like the Nightmare Before Christmas. I can see why that's the mayor's choice for Dallas. Absolutely. And it also looks like it was a second place uh, reward award recipient as well. I think so, too. And approaching, I believe we may have the Pony Club. I think so. This is the... All right, there we go. The Pony Club develops character, leadership, confidence, and a sense of community in youth through a program that teaches the care of horses and ponies, riding, and even in mounted sports. Each member works towards certification levels based on the standards of proficiency. Certifications are available in both horse management, knowledge of horse and handling on the ground, and riding, uh, which is flat dressage and over fences. And all riding certifications include demonstrating the horse management knowledge for that particular level. Uh, access to the horse is necessary to complete certifications, uh, but owning a horse is not mandatory. So that gives kids an opportunity to, uh, to ride a horse even if they don't have one. And it's so nice to see they even have those horses decorated up today. I see some, a lot of jingle bells out there. Can't yeah. quite hear them from up here. And it looks like here we've got the 40-something cowgirls. Now, let me ask you a question about the 40-something cowgirls. Is that 40 something in age or is it 40 something members? I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stay away from that <laughs> because they all look young to me. I was trying to put you on the spot there, <laughs> Ashley. Such uh, a gentleman, such you won't a gentleman. Get me. Good answer, good answer. All right. Okay, now we've got the uh, 101 Backwood Riders United. Uh, cowboys and cowgirls, saddle up your horses and rev up those ATVs with the only horse and ATV club in West Georgia. 101 Backwood Riders United is a nonprofit social organization serving the beautiful communities of Yorkville and Beulah, which is out on the west portion of our county, mm -hmm. uh, right outside of Paul, the city of Paulding. There's no city in Paulding County, a uh, city of <laughs> Paulding County. They're right outside on the west side of the county, and it looks like they've passed by, and they always have such a good time with. Uh, with their horses and their four-wheelers, and uh, they're always helping to provide some help to those in need through charitable events and activities, bridging the gap to make our community a better place. And it looks like they're taking an opportunity to let everybody stop and enjoy those horses for a minute, too. Yeah. So thank you very much for being this with us today. This is, wow, this is a great group. They are definitely having fun out there. Look they at all sure those are. beautiful ho horses And they're and decked riders. out in their purple. I'm going to get with our producers and find out to double check which group this is. Okay, so this is still part of our 101 Backwood Riders United. Wow, that horse is... Uh, He's a feisty one, isn't he? He is. He's doing a good job. 
It looks like that they are actually represented on YouTube, Facebook, and it is the ASCA Ride to Inspire group. So The American Saddle Club Association. I've got pretty good eyes. I could actually read their banner. <laughs> <laughs> See, I belong in that 40-something cowgirl group, and I don't from such a distance. So thank you, Ashley. <laughs> well, you know, with the, with the horses coming up, unfortunately and sadly, it's getting close to the end. Uh, mm, the so horses soon. have always been in the parade. Uh, I can remember them from being a little boy. And uh, always enjoying the, to see them come through, and glad that uh, glad that they're always here. And you know what that means? If we're getting close to the end, the big man himself's mm, got to be close. Please tell me he showed up today. I I'm haven't seen him yet, he's but here. he's got to be here soon. He's got to be. And I'm really hoping that he makes a stop and has a quick interview with, yeah. with John Grant below. I hope so. Um, Looks like we got the Dallas Police uh, transport vehicle. I don't think they've got any prisoners in there, but just want to thank the, the Dallas Police Department, Chief jo Joe Duvall, uh, as well as our Sheriff's Office personnel. They provide the security and safety for everyone uh, on the parade route, keeping the roads clear and safe. And, uh, and it looks like we're going back a little bit out of order here. Again, with so many entries, it's hard to keep everybody uh, in line, especially yep. for us up here doing the commentating without clear visibility. But it looks like we have our Chris Jr. Roofing entry. Yeah. Chris Jr. Roofing and Construction is a company that's made up and founded by quality people who genuinely care about others. Uh, from home improvements uh, and to other uh, things that they do, they can sometimes be a stressful process for anyone. I'm going through a little bit of a home improvement right now. We're redoing our bathroom. Uh, so it's a little bit of a headache, but having folks like Chris Jr. Roofing and uh, Construction can really help uh, ease the burden when you're doing those home improvements. And they are a professional team that go above and beyond, make sure that you don't have anything to worry about. Absolutely. So if, if your bathroom renovation doesn't go so well, you might want to call a professional we'll there, give these Ashley. guys a call. And they always, <laughs> uh, always have the big trucks, uh, so that's always fun. You see those around Paulding yeah. County all over the place, and uh, so glad to always see patriotic. them. So patriotic. Yeah, they very, sure, very sure patriotic. Are. And they are taking their time enjoying their route today. Yeah, here's a fan favorite. Oh, of course, it is the Sparkles car. And you know what? I'm so excited to announce that Sparkles is actually celebrating 60 years of roller skating wow. in our community. And they do it all, birthday parties, STEM gloves, field trips, corporate outings. Give Sparkles a call. They're family owned and operated and just a, a wonderful addition to having the parade everywhere. Gotcha. Yeah, and they've always got their roller skate out, which is cool. I can remember going to, to skating parties as a, as a young child at Sparkle, so they've been around Paulding County, like you said, for 60 years, and uh, they've got the disco ball hanging beneath the, uh, beneath the skate. And there they go. All right. And Courthouse Tool Rental also looks like it is an award uh, entry winner. It is the Rotarian's Choice Award. Right. So congratulations to Courthouse Tool Rental for being here with us today. Looks like they have a several pieces of machinery that I'm going to let Ashley describe yeah. or explain. Well, they've actually got a uh, Kubota SBL 65, which is a skid steer, and then they've got a uh, Kubota LA 1065, which is a little tractor with a front-end loader bucket. Uh, Kubota's always a good brand of tractor. And uh, they've got a couple different trucks. They've got some uh, little mini excavator. They've got a smaller little tractor with a front-end loader bucket on it, and uh, some smaller things you can rent, like generators, fans, and things like that. So does that mean you're picking out your Christmas present out there, Ashley? <laughs> I think my wife might uh, <laughs> might be unhappy if I picked up a skid steer. Although I would love to have one at, uh, at our house. We have a, a little family farm with uh, cattle and things like that. And so uh, a skid steer is vitally important to, uh, to our, our farm. And we're excited to say that we've got the Relay for Life team, and they were the number one, excuse me, number three best uh, theme, best theme uh, recipient today of the awards being placed. Yeah, Paulding Relay for Life is a community-led cause uh, made up of dedicated volunteers, and we all know someone who's been touched by cancer in some way. So their goal is to honor those who are fighting, celebrating those who have fought, and remember those who fought their final batter, battle against cancer. Their theme, of course, this season is giving cancer the boot. Absolutely. And that is being... Uh, demonstrated by their beautiful entry today. Right. And we want to make sure everyone knows that uh, Relay for Life this coming year will be Saturday, May 15th, 2021. And uh, want everybody to come out for that. And here we go with number two best theme for a business is E. Dennis Air Conditioning and Heating. They are an award-winning and five-star rated for the past 27 years. E. Dennis most recently won our 2020 Service Industry of the Year Award with the Paulding Chamber of Commerce. So congratulations to owner Eddie Dennis who do a lot in this community and, of course, are active members 
uh, with our chamber as well. Absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah, like we talked about earlier, we're blessed with so many just uh, good hometown companies uh, that you know, citizens here have so many different choices as to who they want to uh, provide their needs for heating and air conditioning and uh, electrical plumbing, things like that. Uh, but Eddie Dennis and the E-Dennis staff are just great folks and uh, just uh, do such a good job here in our community. And that's always a great thing to see, you know, coming from the Chamber of Commerce perspective and also as a Rotarian, to see so many of those business owners involved uh, with both those organizations, it really shows their heart in giving back to the community that, that helps them succeed. So yeah, it's, it's a win-win situation when you see that. Yeah. Looks like they've got uh, a couple more vehicles coming up. They've got uh, a service truck and uh, maybe a response vehicle. Um, but as as they continue through, we'll, we'll keep talking and... Uh, it's really starting to warm up now. I know. I'm almost tempted to take this jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been such a beautiful day. I can't think of weather that's been any better for a parade. Uh, I definitely in the last two years that that coming from I what two here. years ago we had that torrential downpour, uh, and last year, I can't remember what the weather was, but it was it not. Was cold. It was yeah, it was cold. It wasn't perfect like this. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, just blessed to have such a great uh, great day and just a great community uh, to to do this parade with. So Ashley, I asked you if you were out there earlier picking out your Christmas present. Do you have anything special in mind that you're looking for? No, not really. Just, uh, you know, Christmas to me is about giving and, uh, you know, making sure that your children and others have all the things they need. Uh, but just a great time of year. We always love Christmas. Uh, but it looks like we've got Grace Point Church coming up next. Uh, Grace Point Church is a place where people can meet Jesus, engage in life-giving community. And everyone is welcome. They believe in creating a space where people can have authentic encounters of Christ, discover their gifts, and use them for God's glory. And they are also the first place winner in the religious entry category. Oh, wow. Uh, and I can see why. Oh, that, that took is some time and effort to build yeah, that manger yeah. scene. Again, want to remind those businesses out there and organizations, come be a part of our parade. Reach out to the uh, Pauling County Rotary Club. See how you can get involved. Or if you're just interested in sponsoring an entry, you can sponsor any entry for either the bands or any nonprofit. I'm sure they would love the support and the opportunity to be out in their hometown parade. Yeah, absolutely. So how do you get registered for the parade? You will find registration starts about six weeks out before the actual parade okay. date. The Rotary will always release the information on Facebook. The Chamber, of course, shares that information as well. So just give any entity a call that... Uh, you would like to participate or help out or support in any way. We also just look for a group of volunteers. I uh, want to thank my fellow Rotarians who got here as early as 7 a.m. this morning to set up, uh, as well as, of course, the city of Dallas, who are phenomenal to try to uh, reach out, help, and support with the setup. And again, the, the Board of Commissioners, PCTV, everybody, it definitely takes a village to put on oh, a parade. Absolutely. Well, and it's, it's comforting for me when you see the folks in the red because you know that's a Rotarian, you know they care, and you know that they're going to be the ones out there to help. You know, when you, when you're, especially when you're at this event, you want to make sure that they're there, and when you see that person in the red shirt, you know that's a Rotarian, and you know they're going to be able to help you. Thank you. And it looks like we are coming to the uh, end of our parade. This is the big man. This is the big man. Now, don't get too excited, <laughs> Ashley. Hey, I love I'm Santa. I'm not sure which list you're on yet, so you're either going to be crying out of excitement or I out hope of I'm on the, the, the good list. And I think we're going to try to throw it down to John down on the street. He's got the big man himself, Santa Claus. John, take it away. Hey, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Stacy. Hey, look who I found. This is the man of the hour right here. We're here with Mr. and Miss Santa Claus, and we know that they've got something they want to say to everybody. So we're just going to hand it up to them and let you wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Hello everybody, want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. And a Happy New Year. And a year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Hey, I got one question. Yes, sir. You do know that I've been on the good list. Uh, that's debatable. No, 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 it's not either. It's good. John Grant. That's oh, okay. a good list, okay? With a, with a capital D. No, 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 capital G. Come oh, on, G. get it right now. Don't go to the wrong house. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry guys. Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. you for Merry everything. To Dallas, always great to welcome you. Yes, it is. As Santa has said, 
Merry Christmas to everyone. And as we pitch it back up to Ashley and Stacy for our last time here on the street, we want to wish everybody in Dallas and all around Paulden County a very Merry Christmas. Stacy, Ashley, back to you. Well, thank you, John, but I just have to uh, let you know for sure that you're not on the nice list. I have already reviewed it with Santa <laughs> Claus because, again, he's joining us over the next two weeks at our Paulding Chamber Nights of Lights event, The Power of Christmas. And, uh, John, you're not on it. I'm sorry. But we are so thankful for everybody joining us today. And, and I listened a minute ago as someone said, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I don't think that there are better spoken words at this time, that we are definitely looking forward to a Happy New Year with 2021 approaching. Yeah, absolutely. And just uh, on behalf of the Sheriff's Office and uh, you know, the Paulding Chamber and the Rotary, just want to thank everybody for coming out. Such a beautiful day, such a beautiful event. Paulding County today. Uh, 23 TV for putting this production together and I really hope with it being live I hope we were able to reach a lot of people and they were able to see and enjoy uh, the Christmas parade if they were not able to be here it's always a pleasure to be with you Absolutely. and yes, uh, just you. want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year Merry Christmas Merry Christmas thank you guys Oh, 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 oh,